Hello, in this video, we will learn about store configuration. Let's talk about key features and benefits. You will find all the website settings listed under different tabs. We have categorized the settings under various categories such as customer, product, template, theme, store position, and configuration, SEO, miscellaneous, and more. You can modify any setting and click on save button to check the changes reflected in your store. Let's have a look into the admin. So first of all, we have to go to store configuration, click on site settings. Here we can see different different tabs over here. And you can see there is customer specific, product specific and template specific settings. So we will see some few common settings over here. Let's see into the customer. Uh, you can uh, enable guest customer login. So you can select yes over here and click on save. Similarly, we have uh, enable authorization while registering customers. So this feature, you can enable it by click on uh, authorize from admin or if you want authorization with email verification. Next, we have if you want to disable or make a field mandatory or not mandatory for a customer to enter. So you can select any of these three sections and then save it. Next, we have product section. So in the product, we have a few settings which you can select. Suppose uh, if you want to change the measurement unit for all the products, you can choose from the drop down list over here. So you can choose inches, millimeter or centimeter as per your requirement. Next, we have number of products to be displayed on home page. So you can set as per your requirement. If you want to set uh, eight products to be displayed on store, and uh, once you save it, so here on the front, as you can see, there are 12 products currently showing. Once I refresh it, it will show only eight products. So similarly, you can do it in your store as per your requirement. And also you can show number of products to be displayed in each row on home page. So you can choose whether, whether you want to show three products or four products in a row. And then we have number of products to be displayed in each row on product listing page front. So this also you can show into the product listing page on the category page. And then uh, we have few more settings which you can check like enable product category and category with group. So this you can enable if you want to enable the master category group in your store. Next we have template section. So in the template section, there are a few things which you can change. Like if you want to enable the template cost feature in your store, you can select yes or no over here. And uh, you can enable template auto authorization using cache. You can enable it. And uh, if you want to enable template category in your store, you can choose default. And uh, these are some changes you can do in your store. Next comes to the image section. So in the image, you can choose number of users images to be displayed per page. So when you go to the designer studio and uh, you see the number of images to the user. So here you can see 20 is set at the moment. So you can set if you want to show n number of images like 30, if you set then 30 images will be displayed to the user in the design studio. You can maximize the crop image width for user images or you can maximize crop image height for user images on front. After that, we have a store precision. So under store precision, we have a few settings like display shipping calculator. So you can control if you want to show shipping calculator into print products only, you can select that else you can select yes or no as per your choice. Uh, also here we have display style for language currency. We have icon or drop down style. So you can choose how you want to show the language and currency. Next, we have uh, store configuration. So a store configuration, there are so many settings are there into which there are some common settings you can check over here. If you want to change the weekdays on which you have holidays, you can set Saturday or Sunday with initial three alphabets of the day. Also, you can set holiday list into this format. We have given question mark. Uh, for help section like this. Also, you can set order cutoff time. So suppose if you want to set uh, order cutoff time when the order place uh, on your website, so you can set on the clock of 24 as per your requirement. 
So these are few settings we have given, uh, which you can check and change as per requirement. Next, we have SEO section. Uh, so under SEO, there are some uh, settings which you can set like set custom meta tags. So you can add your customized meta tag over here. Next, we have miscellaneous. So under miscellaneous, there are a few settings like if you want to enable admin notification, you can choose yes. So it's by default. And uh, let's come up on the after login re redirection. So when customer uh, login into your website, so where you want to redirect, redirect. Uh, so here you can set on the in the login section, left panel login, default store login. So you can set the landing page list from the drop down. Next, we have theme settings. So theme settings have uh, so many um, settings over here, which we will discuss into a separate video and then comes on the language. So language options you will see over here. So currently there is only one language. If you have multiple languages in all the languages, you can see over here and you can set the default language, which you want to show on the store. Next, we have currency setting. So in into the currency setting, you can see over here, like uh, if you want to add a currency, you can add, click on add button, just enter the currency, currency code, left symbol or right symbol, and put the separator for decimal and thousand and put an interpreted value. So let's have a look. Uh, suppose if you have USD as a default uh, currency, you can set interpreted value one. If you have secondary currency as INR, you can set the interpreted value with respect to the default value over here. So the entered value would be like this. Next come up on the country and state list. So here you can control which countries you want to enable in your store. And here you can set one country as a default country. You can enable or disable any country you want. If you want to make all the countries deactivate only default activate, then you can click on this button. And if you want to add state into your country, you can choose your country first from the drop down, and then you can enter by clicking on this add button. And here you can put the details. Here we have web optimization. So web optimization, basically we use to optimize images on your website. So this setting, we generally uh, keep as it is. So in case you want to use it uh, to generate uh, uh, WebP images for uh, loading more smoothly, you can change the setting and enable it. Next, we have a block IP address. So you can enter the IP address which you want to block from the user access. So you can add multiple IP addresses over here. So that's all into the store configurations. Thank you for watching this video. In case of any further concern, feel free to connect with us. Thank you.